if right now you find yourself stuck in a situation, an atmosphere, an environment, a job, a relationship, anything that you find yourself stuck in, that you're trying to grow out of, but haven't found a way, your number one step is to address your lack of awareness. So our next speaker here is Adam. Who here would like to live their full potential and get it all out on the field? All of us. Yeah. And a whole lot of fighters, we want the blueprint to find that solution. Well, Adam's here to share with us the actual roadmap. Guys, so put your hands together. If you're hating the spot that you're in, if you're miserable where you are, if you're focused on the frustration, you're gonna miss the opportunity. Don't ever let circumstances tell you what you can or can't do. You guys have things that you want to do and along the way, someone's gonna tell you you can't do it. The point is they want to do it and they didn't have the guts to stand up and do it when they were in the position you're in. You guys can prove all of them wrong. How many of you grew up with a bad childhood? I did not. I grew up with a pretty awesome childhood. I decided to destroy my adulthood. <laughs> The reason you carry that unrest is because you're living incongruent with the values of your core, your heart, your soul, versus the actions that you execute on a daily basis in your practical everyday life. Whatever you tolerate is what you get to keep. Whatever you tolerate is what stays. Inside was someone who wanted to get out, someone who wanted more, someone who knew he could do better. I would guess that most of you feel the same way at different times. Maybe it's been beaten out of you a little bit, Ignore the voices from outside the mission. Keep moving forward in the gift that God gave you that you're equipped to give the world and no one else is. Bring out the greatness that God put in your soul and bless the world with it and light yourself on fire. And when you learn to stop and start putting your priorities in line with your values and follow that up with action toward a real vision with real faith, that's where you can make it happen. These are the practical steps that I took to get that in my life. So we can talk about leadership and principles and all day long in theory. It's great information. What does it look like when it hits the ground running? Who do I need to be in that picture, in that frame that's 10 years from now because it takes wow. time to build relationships and depth of roots? Who do I need to be so that picture can actually become a reality? She gets me. Like, she gets me. <laughs> The blessings you have right now in your life are bringing the burdens that you are looking at and complaining about as being the problems in your life. These are probably burdens that you would have prayed to have before when you didn't have the blessing that you have now. Focus on your gratitude and watch the abundance swell up in your heart and bring even more of the same. That's revolutionary for you.